Hi, this is Rachel from Pure Photoshop Actions, and I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on uh, Elements today. Uh, this is for Elements users, and I I just I love this little trick that Elements has that they don't even have in the full version of Photoshop, and I wanted to kind of show it off because it works really well most of the time, uh, enough that I get kind of jealous. Um, anyway. This is a straight out of camera photo and you know the exposure is pretty good, the color is pretty good, but you can see what's happened is they are under all these trees and look it's kind of got, well, they've got some green in their hair and a little bit of green in the shadows here and you know I think we can quickly fix that with this trick that Elements has. So let me show you what we've got. Go over to the enhance menu, we're going to click that, come down to adjust color over here and look we're going to come to adjust color for skin tone and I'm just surprised this works so well most of the time so I'm going to come over to this area and look do you see all that green is just gone it's out of his hair it's out of her hair it's out of everywhere it's taken that green tone and said okay let's get rid of that so now it's their skin is a little deeper than I might usually leave um, so one thing that we can do um, again uh, the exposure is still good, so some people might totally say this is the exposure that I want. Uh, but I know that light, bright, airy skin tends to be kind of what's in right now. So again, we're going to come to the Enhance menu. We're going to come down to Adjust Lighting. We're skipping all these autos. We're going to come to Adjust Lighting, and we're going to go to Levels. It's also Control L if you like to use, or Command if you're a Mac, uh, if you like to use keyboard shortcuts, which I really do. Um, okay, so here's Levels. This is this is the histogram. This is kind of the story of the image. Here we have these are the shadows, those deep dark black tones. This is the mid-tones where skin kind of lives. This is the highlights where you have like these spectral highlights and kind of the brighter areas of the image. So what happens? Here if we bring this in it's going to deepen our blacks. If we come over here it'll brighten up those brights. And here if we just move the mid-tones notice it leaves our whites where they are, those brights leaves the blacks where they are, but it's going to bring up skin tones. So you know what like I kind of like, I don't know, is about right here maybe their skin looks kind of nice. I might even bring this over like bring up the shadows a little bit. But there it looks. We can click our preview off. So there it was before and here we have after. They're a little more light, bright, and airy. And we say okay. And I forget. It doesn't put it on a separate layer. Um, you can do a control J. So let's undo what we did there. Oops. I just undid both. So we'll control Y and bring back our color correction. Um, so yeah. Control Z undoes. Control Y will bring back one step. So let's bring back our color correction. But um, in fact, you know what? Let's Control Z that too. Um, let's see. So we can go Control J. I forget. In, in Photoshop, when you do an adjustment layer, it automatically gives you a second layer. So here we're going to quickly enhance. We'll do adjust color one more time on this level. So we're going to say, okay, adjust color for skin tones. We'll say we're going to go right here. Okay. And then, yay, that's so great because uh, now we have it on this layer. If we decide, wait, you know what, that's too much. I don't like how whatever it is. Um, it's propagating that. There we go. Then we can always kind of take down the opacity to where it's gone. There's that green back. Bring it all the way back, you know. So that's always a really nice thing. I like to do that. We can also run our levels. I'll just run it on here for convenience sake. You could add another background layer if you wanted to do that and uh, do it on there but let's see so we here we have adjust lighting we're gonna come back levels I'm just gonna add again a little bit about here and about here just to kinda give it that snap here we go snap crackle pop looking good so there's before there's after I like it there we go that's just a couple quick things that we can do kinda get you ready for some color pops and things like that we could do some sunshine baby brighten up their faces we could use turn out the lights baby and bring down these edges there's just all sorts of things we could pop it uh, we could do a nice like haze ta uh, haze action would be awesome uh, anyway it's all up to you what you do from here but those are just some really really fun things that elements has uh, anyway this is Rachel from pure photoshop actions have a nice day